Why did you make Ava? Well, that's an odd question. Wouldn't you if you could? Maybe. I'm not sure. But I'm asking why you made him. Look, the arrival of strong artificial intelligence has been inevitable for decades. The variable was when, not if. So I don't really see Ava as a decision. Just an evolution. But I think it's the next mural that's going to be the real breakthrough. Singularity. The next mural? After Ava. I didn't know there was going to be another model after Ava. Yeah, you thought she was a one-off? Well, I knew there must have been prototypes. So, not the first, but maybe the last. Well, uh, Ava doesn't exist in isolation any more than you or me. She's part of a continuum, version 9.6 and so on. And each time, we get a little bit better. So when you make a new model, what happens to the old one? Well, I, uh, I down the mind, unpack the data, and I have a new routine I've been writing. And to do that, you end up partially formatting, so the memories go, but the body survives. And Ava's body's a good one. You feel bad for Ava? In a sense. You feel bad for yourself. One day, the AI will look back on us the same way we look at fossil skeletons from the plains of Africa. An upright ape, living in dust, with crude language and tools. All set for extinction. I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. There you go again, Mr. Cordable. No, 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 no. There you go again. It's not my quote. That's what Oppenheimer said when he made the atomic, atomic bomb. bomb. I know what it is, dude. Well, cheers. To the future of Ava. To the future of Ava.